Good morning. God bless you. Amen. What a blessing it is to be in the land of the living on today. Um, what a blessing it is to be able to share a word with you uh, again. And I just say good morning to everyone as you come on. Good morning. Good morning. Amen. And so just bow your heads as we pray. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we love you. God, we glorify you. We thank you, Lord, for today. We thank you, oh God, for what you have done. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you are about to do for us today. Thank you, Lord, for speaking to our hearts. Thank you, oh God, for lifting up, oh God, the burdens. Thank you, Lord, for healing right now in the name of Jesus. For God, we love you on today. Oh, God, and we appreciate who you are and what you are to us. And for God, we thank you, Lord, for that note. On that note, God, we thank you for who you are and what you're about to do. And Lord, we give you praise on this morning. We give you glory, oh God, because you are mighty, oh Lord. Hallelujah. You are great. And have your way on today. Speak a word to our hearts. For God, I realize I can't do a thing without you. And Lord, we need you today. I need you today. Hallelujah. Speak to us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you and we glorify you. In Jesus' name, everyone say amen. 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 Truly, the Lord is good and his mercy is everlasting. Amen. And so today, I just want to share a word with you today. Amen. Just share a word, amen, of encouragement. Glory be to God. I just need you to turn to someone in your room. Um, if there is a neighbor that you have, or we say neighbor, but it could be your, your family member, whoever, turn to them and say, just say one word, favor. Just say favor. Hallelujah. Um, amen. If there's no one there, just lift your hands and just say, Lord, I thank you for your favor. 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 Amen. Amen. And so come with me in the book of Genesis, the 37th uh, chapter, amen, of Genesis. And while you, you're uh, turning your Bible, amen, I'm just going to sing this song of praise, amen. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He's in answer. God will bring it 
to pass. Hallelujah. I just need somebody to write in the comments, God will bring it to pass. Hallelujah. Whatever you desire for God to do, amen, when you pray in his name, amen, amen, when you believe in God, God will answer. So as I always, amen, uh, have stated to you and I state today, I still believe God. I believe that he is an answering God. Why? Because he answered my prayers. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I still believe God. Why? Because there are things that I watch God do and I know it was only he that done it. Hallelujah. And if it wasn't for him, the enemy would have conquered. But thanks be to God. He's given us victory in every situation. Hallelujah. And that is why I believe God. Hallelujah. People of God, don't allow your faith, amen, to become weak. Hallelujah. Don't stagger, amen, at the promises of God. But stay, be steadfast. Hallelujah. Believing that God is able to do all things but fail. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And so today we, we talked about last week, amen, glory be to God, one word, uh, change my story. One word changed my narrative. And I want to talk today about the narrative of favor. Hallelujah. I want you to begin to write your narrative, but write it, amen, uh, 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 with the favor of God. Amen. Talk about favor over your life in your narrative. Talk about favor going ahead of you in your narrative. I remember last year the Lord gave us a word and we, we brought it over to this year. Uncommon favor. Uncommon favor. And our theme this year was a focus, but we also carried the uncommon favor over. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So I'm going to read a few verses. Glory be to God. And then we're going to talk further. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, Genesis 37 and 3. Now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children because he was the son of his old age and he made him a coat of many colors. And when his brethren saw that their father loved him more than all his brethren, they hated him and could not speak peacefully unto him. And Joseph dreamed a dream and he told it his brethren and they hated him yet the more. Hallelujah. And he said unto them, Here I pray you this dream which I have dreamed. For behold, we were binding sheaves in the field, and lo, my sheep arose, and also stood upright, stood round about, and made oh be sin to my sheep. And his brethren said to him, Shall thou indeed reign over us? Or shall thou indeed have dominion over us? And they hated him yet the more for his dreams and for his words. Hallelujah. And when you skip down to the 11th verse, it says, and his brethren envied him, but his father observed the saints. Hallelujah. So today I just want to talk to you a little bit about the favor of God, the narrative of favor. When you look at Psalms 5 and 12, it says, for you, O Lord, will bless the righteous with favor. You will surround him as with a shield. If you notice here, God is doing the blessing and he is blessing the righteous. The ones that have given their life over to the Lord. So I want you to know today that your righteous living is not in vain. For the Lord says here that I will bless the righteous with favor. And I will surround him with a shield. What is favor? Hallelujah. Favor is God unmerited, immeasurable, 
unlimited and unmatched favor. God's immeasurable, unlimited, hallelujah, and unmatched favor. When I think of favor, I can't help but put the other word before it and say uncommon. Why? Because we're living in an uncommon day right now. Hallelujah. We live in a time where we've never seen before. And the circumstances are not common. The circumstances are not our norm. But the Lord says here, I am bestowing uncommon favor uh, upon your life. Hallelujah. Favor is, is, is gaining approval and acceptance and special benefits or blessings from the Lord. And it's a beautiful thing when you can walk as a believer and know that the favor of God is on your life. Hallelujah. The favor of God is on your life. Isn't it wonderful that the favor of God comes upon your life when you give your life over to the Lord? When you walk upright before God, the favor of God overtakes you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I just need somebody to write in the comments the favor of God. The favor of God gives you influence. Causes you to give you doors, walk into doors of utterance. The favor of God, hallelujah, make ways out of no way, but what he does, he does it in a way where you know it's his favor. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Turn to your name and say, I know when I see God's favor. Hallelujah. Why? Because God's favor in your life, hallelujah, it brings forth breakthroughs and it brings forth miracles that you could not scoop up yourself. It had to come from the hand of God because everything that you could think of was against you. But I'm here to encourage you today to write your narrative, hallelujah, the way the word tells us. Write it ah, as it's stated in the scripture that he is bestowing favor upon the righteous. Hallelujah. I know that you have failed many times. I did too. I have failed and made mistakes. Hallelujah. But the Lord says, hallelujah, you're not held by your mistake. Watch this. You're not a prisoner of your past. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. But I've caused you to be new. And I've caused you to walk on new ground. I need somebody to say new ground. Hallelujah. And because of that, my favor is there. My favor. God's favor is a gift. We don't deserve it. Hallelujah. We can't earn it. But God gives it to us because we are his children and he is our father. Hallelujah. And I want to encourage you today. Hallelujah. To activate the favor. In other words, walk in the favor that's upon your life. Allow the favor of God to work in your life. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. See, sometimes people, they miss the favor of God because sometimes they don't know how to receive it or, or, or you know, they don't know how to allow it to move in their lives. Hallelujah. But I'm here to encourage you, don't resist the favor. Don't resist the favor of God. Now here we look at scripture. When I was praying, the Lord gave me Joseph. And I just want to just talk briefly. It is an extensive story of, of Joseph in the Bible. But I just want to give you a few points. A few points about Joseph. Joseph was his father's favorite. His father showed favor upon Joseph. And the Bible says that when he received the robe of many colors, that pretty much set him apart. Uh, but the robe, watch this, that his father put on him was costly. What is the Lord saying? That sometimes the favor of God that's on your life can be costly. The favor doesn't mean that you're not going to go through anything. The favor doesn't mean that you're not going to be rejected, di disappointed. No, oh, hallelujah. The favor of God just simply means that God has placed his favor upon you and in your trials, he 
He's going to give you the grace to go through it. He's going to give you the strength to go through it. But the favor doesn't mean that you're not going to go through hard times. But the point is that the brothers knew that when he put on that robe, it represented favor and righteousness. I want you to understand that the Bible says that they hated him. Because it reminded them of the favor that was on his life. So what is the Lord saying? That many a times when the favor of God is on your life because of righteousness. Hallelujah. Because that you have given your life to God. Did you notice? I didn't call out one title. I didn't call out one title. I didn't say you had to be bishop. I didn't say you had to be the apostle. I didn't say you had to be overseer, pastor, evangelist, minister, and the list goes on. But I say as a believer, as the righteousness, because the Bible said righteous. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. They, they, they saw the, the, the robe as favor and righteousness. And you see, when you walk in righteousness, many times people are not going to like the favor on your life. But I'm going to encourage you today, don't stop writing your narrative. Don't stop writing favor in your story. I need somebody to, to write in the comments, don't stop writing the narrative. Don't stop writing favor. Amen. Even in the midst of famine, watch this, declare Favor. Declare favor. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Glory be to God. And so the Bible says that the brothers began to, you know, they hated. He was already the favorite. Now he got the coat of colors. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But God's favor is for us as believers. God's favor is for us, amen, as believers to walk in it. And to embrace what God has for us. So now here Joseph has a dream. <clears throat> he has a dream and the dream shows of him and his brethren being in a situation where they're looking up to him. Hallelujah. They're looking up to him. And, and they took it as what? You mean tell me you're going to be over us? They, they couldn't handle it. How many of you know that sometimes people can't handle the next level that God is about to take you? Sometimes people can't handle, amen, the favor that you're walking in. But understand that you can turn to them and say, just as I'm walking in favor, you can too. Hallelujah. How many of you know that God has enough of favor for everybody? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Everybody. God has enough favor for everybody. So here Joseph had a dream. And it was beyond what Joseph can even think of. It was beyond of what he can imagine. What I'm saying to you, many times God shows you your narrative. Because listen, when he told them the dream, he was actually telling them the narrative of God over his life. Hallelujah. And you got to understand, hallelujah, that many times when God writes our narrative, it's beyond what we can think or imagine. It's bigger than our imagination. Ah, my God. Hallelujah. Come on now. You know what I, you know the scripture. His ways are higher, his thoughts. Come on. And, and here, Joseph dreamed a dream that it really sounded like he was arrogant, even to his own father. But when God gives us a dream, it's always beyond us. It's always bigger than us. Ah, my God. Because don't you know that the dream that God gave uh, Joseph, it wasn't just all about Joseph walking in favor, but it was all about him being in position and posture to help his family. Down the road, when there'll be a family, he'll be the one to give them what they need. So what is the Lord saying? That when the favor of God is over your life, it's not just about you. When he show you your narrative, when he show you the dream, when he show you his favor, it's beyond what you can imagine. And it's really somebody else included. 
In other words, God is not going to anoint you just for you, but God is anointing you for somebody else. I feel my help. I need somebody to lift your hands up and say hallelujah. Glory be to God. God is anointing you. He's anointing you for somebody else. That's what favor does. Now, listen, some may think, may not like, okay, let me change that. Some may not like the plan of God for our lives. That's where hatred comes in at. But I'm here to tell you that we don't have to be jealous of no one. I don't have to be jealous of the favor over your life. The favor over your life is a reason why there's a certain degree of favor in certain areas of your life. Because that is where it's needed and that's what you need for certain assignments and certain levels that God's going to take you. Watch this. But don't be jealous of the of favor on my life because it's designed to, to accommodate and to work with what God has given me to do. So sometimes we are jealous uh, or we envy other people and you don't know their story, number one. Mm. You don't know the price they paid, number two. But also, you don't know what's up the road that God will use them in. And you may not be able to take that. So, uh, we don't want to uh, worry about what's on somebody else's life. But we definitely want to embrace the favor of God that God has on our lives. So, his brothers... Didn't like it. Hallelujah. And you may say to yourself, well, pastor, I read the story. I know the story of Joseph. He dreamed. He received a coat of many colors. Now look at, look what his life went, look, look what he went through. Yeah. But if you look in scripture, you'll see the favor of God was with them on every level that God took him. Hallelujah. When he went into the officer's house, amen, favor was there. And favor was there to, to, to uh, embrace him so that he can learn skills and obtain skills to do what he need to do. Uh, in other words, that was preparation ground for him and favor was there, the favor of God that opened up a door for him to obtain the skills that he needed uh, to be the leader that God was calling for years later. God knew that he would be in the position of, uh, of the king's house. God knew that he would be the one, hallelujah, that would have to help the people. God knew that he would need to be one that would know how to strategize and figure things out, hallelujah, so everybody can eat. God knew that, but God had to first take him through the process. But in the process, the favor of God was right there. Even in prison, the favor of God was right there. Hallelujah. What is the Lord saying? That in the, in the steps that you take and on every level that you go on, the favor of God will be there. I don't care how dark it seems. I don't care how hard it seems. The favor of God is upon you. Hallelujah. Turn to your neighbor and just say, the favor of God is upon you. So what is the truth? The truth is that sometimes when you have a dream or the favor of God is seen by others, sometimes people won't like it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the enemy will use individuals to try to discourage you to downplay, come on now, the favor over your life. We'll try to get you to downplay what God is about to do. But I encourage you today, hallelujah, to hold on to the favor of God. Because the favor of God is what is going to reveal some things in your life and going to open doors in your life. It's going to do some uncommon things in your life. Hallelujah. That you have never thought of. And when you walk up righteous uh, before the Lord and when you walk holy before God, God honors your sacrifice. God honors your dedication. God honors your persistence. God honors your consistency. God honors your faithfulness. Yes, he does. He honors it. I just need somebody to say favor. So some people may say, well, pastor, I, 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 I hear about this favor. But how do I 
receive and embrace this favor of God that you're talking about. How? Look at what's going on around us, Pastor. People are constantly losing their jobs and things are constantly happening all around us and people are leaving it. How do, how can I walk in this favor? Hallelujah. Well, I want to encourage you today that the favor of God is there, but he wants us to believe and to receive. Believe that the favor of God is on your life and then to receive it. Believe it in the heart of uh, that, that God has done it. Believe it and receive in the promises of God. Don't you know God has promised you favor? What does the word of God say in James 4, uh, 6 and 7? It says, you must believe and not doubt. Because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea blown and tossed by the wind. That person should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. So what is the Lord saying? Believe and receive. Uh, don't, don't pray doubting. Hallelujah. Because if you doubt the favor of God, then you won't receive the favor of God. Or shall I say, the favor of God won't work in your life like it could. Come on now. Because you're not embracing it. So the favor of God is on your life. Hallelujah. But you know, it's just like, um, how can I say? It's just like somebody gives you a gift and uh, you leave the gift on the shelf. But really what's in the box, right? It's something you can use daily. Like it's something you really need to use. It's very resourceful. But you leave it on the shelf. You leave it right there. So it can't really work for you, whatever it is in that box. It can't really work for you or it can't enhance you or help you with what you need because you left it in the box on the shelf. Well, it's the same way with the favor of God. We have to learn how to receive the favor of God and use it. Come on now. Declare it in the atmosphere. I have the favor of God. Call it out. I decree and declare favor over this. I decree and declare favor over my family. I decree and declare favor over my business. Come on now. I decree favor over my life. Don't leave favor on the shelf. You got to believe and receive. Because if you doubt, then don't expect anything from the Lord. Mm, somebody say glory. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, lift your hands up and just say glory. Glory. So embrace the favor of God in this season. Now, another way of walking in the favor of God is growing in the knowledge of the Lord. Don't you know every time you increase, every, uh, shall I say, I'm going to change that. As you increase your relationship with him, he will increase your access to him. And all he has including favor. Some of us, we only go to God when we're in trouble. We only go to God, okay, here Lord, here I am, hi, my name is Eunice. And the Lord is saying, where have you been? You know, in other words, you're, you're not praying, you're not reading the word, but you use him for what you can use him for. You want the blessing, but you don't want the blesser. Uh, but here, in order for the favor of God to work, you have to allow your relationship uh, to increase, the knowledge of God to increase in your life. And the Bible says that when you grow in favor, favor will be your garment. Higher, hallelujah. Favor will be your garment as you grow. The Bible says in 2 Peter 3 and 18, hallelujah, to grow in favor through the knowledge of Jesus Christ. How can you grow in favor? By learning of him, reading his word, seeking his face in prayer. Come on now, declaring his word, hallelujah, glory be to God, meditating on his word, murmuring his word, murmuring his word, speaking his word. Hallelujah. When you grow in your relationship with God, that's how the favor of God grows on your life. But the Bible says, 
hallelujah, that lets us know in Proverbs 8 and 35 that whosoever finds me, watch this, finds life and obtains favor from the Lord. Let's read that again. Proverbs 8, 35. For whosoever finds me, finds life and obtains favor from the Lord. So I want to encourage you that every time you find God on your knees, come on now, because when we go in prayer, we go in after God. Every time we read his word, we are going after God. God is saying here today that you will obtain life and favor. I don't just want to live, people of God, but I want to live in the favor of God. Oh, my God. You see, some people are just living, but it's nothing like living in the favor of God. This is what I've always stated for years. You don't need a whole lot of money. All you need is the favor of God. All you need is God's uncommon favor and watch doors just open. Hallelujah. Needs be met. Come on now. And you can go into atmosphere where there's death and speak life. You can go into atmosphere where there's confusion and speak and declare peace. When there is a favor over your life, you can change some things. Joseph had that ability. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. In his in his, how should I say, in his journey or on his journey, hallelujah, wherever he was placed, he made a difference. Glory be to God. So the Bible tells us that we have to grow in the knowledge. As we grow, favor. I need somebody to say, grow, favor. Come on, write it down in the comments there. Grow, favor. But remember, favor do come in stages. You must grow in it. You know why? Because uh, uh, Jesus himself, it, 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 it talks about in St. Luke 2 and 52, it says, and Jesus drew in wisdom and stature and, and in favor with God and man. My point to you is, amen, there are different levels of favor. Now, this is powerful. So, you may be saying, Pastor, you mean to tell me that there are different levels? Oh, yes, it is. And God give us favor on the level where we can handle it. Come on now. He give us a favor uh, where it's needed. Come on. Hallelujah. And I'm sure many of you can, if you look back over your life, you can see the different levels of favor that God gave you. When you first got saved, God gave you a certain degree of favor. Uh, but when you need it uh, to go as you grew and you need to go uh, maybe to uh, a job interview and it, it was a, a position after you graduated from college, that was a different. Now God needed to uh, bestow a, a different kind of favor over your life. Hallelujah. Where he needed to give you the favor as you sit at the table, as you open up your mouth. Hallelujah. There was a certain amount of favor he placed in that room where they could not, they could not, they could not deny you. You may not have been the right color. You may not have had all the skills. You may not have been the one they thought about. But because of favor, they had to point their finger your way and say, come on in. We got to take you in. <laughs> hallelujah. Come on, lift your hands up and say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You know, I, I have been through many things in life. I've been through many things in life. But then there came a time where I had to, I had to build a church and I had to stand before a judge and I had to I had to go to the building apartment. And in that room, I never experienced that before. But in that room, on that level of administration, God gave me favor in that room where they had to sign off and say, okay, we signing off the job, you can do A, B, or C. Come on now, lift your hands up and say hallelujah. In other words, God knew I was not sitting across a believers. God knew that there were not believers in the room, but there were some people, amen, didn't care whether it went up or not. Hallelujah. Hopefully they, they were thinking if we can take it, that would be good. Hallelujah. But at that moment, God gave me favor. So there are different levels of favor. Different stages of favor. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lift your hands up and say hallelujah. Another way of walking in favor and embracing favor, watch this. This one gets some of you. Sow 
favor. S-O-W, soul favor. See, favor is part of our narrative, but but uh, we, we don't want it just to be on paper, and we don't just want it to be uh, something we say, a nice little cliche, oh, oh, you know, uncommon favor. No, but we want it to be in our lives so that the people see the garments that we wear. The garments gives off favor. But as a believer, we also got to sow favor. Show favor. In other words, show favor to others or towards others. And Psalms 112 and 5 says, a good man shows favor and lends, and he will guide his affairs with discretion. You will reap, people of God, what you sow. When we show favor, hallelujah, when we sow, S-O-W, when we sow favor, favor will come back to us. Hallelujah. Come on, turn to your neighbor and say, sow the right seed. Sow the right seed. You will sow favor in your life. As God endows you with favor, you're going to give it back. God said, now as you give to others, uh, I'm going to allow somebody to show favor upon you. I'm going to allow somebody to sow favor into your life. Come on. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. S give it to someone that don't deserve it. Uh, give it to someone that, you know, you necessarily won't talk to. But because the favor of God is so much over your life, you got to share it with somebody else. In other words, you want to do good towards someone. You want to give a good word. You want to uh, send a gift. You want to, amen, do, give them something that they need. Come on now. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The Bible said, blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. When we show mercy to others. Hallelujah. God will allow mercy to come back to us. Hallelujah. Lift your hands up and say hallelujah. So if you want to activate this favor in your life today, you say, Pastor, today is a new day for me. I'm going to start walking into the favor of God. I'm telling you, start showing favor to others. Give, give. Come on now, give. Come on, give. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You know, this is favor don't causes you to be selfish, but favor gives you the mindset to give back. Hallelujah. I mean, we know what Joseph went through. He was, he's a human being. When, when his family years later came to him and they, they came to him for food, they didn't know who Joseph was. And Joseph at first didn't want to tell them who he was. And he didn't. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He didn't want to. Glory be to God. I guess he thought of what he went through. And because of them, you know, trying to kill. And then they sold. He was sold. You know, it was like, okay, should I? I'm trying to tell you the saints of God that sometimes the people that have took you through, that have gone, that hated the favor of your life, and they have caused some kind of problem in your life. Hallelujah. They may come back to you. But even when they come back, you forgive and move on and show the favor of God. Uh, sow something into their lives because it's your sowing is what's going to bring blessings back your way. Hallelujah. You reap what you sow. And then another way to embrace favor is to declare favor. The Bible says in Mark 11 and 23, you will have what you say. Hallelujah. You will have what you say. Glory be to God. That's why I tell people all the time, hallelujah, don't allow circumstances and people to rewrite the story. Hallelujah. Don't allow uh, circumstances to get you to a place where you're not writing what God says. Hallelujah. Keep talking the words of God. Keep declaring the words of God. Keep speaking what God said because you will have what you say. So when you say, I have favor, favor is there. Come on now. When you say, hallelujah, I have blessings, blessings are there. Hallelujah. When you, when you declare in the atmosphere, Lord, I am healed, healing is there. There is power in your words. Hallelujah. Come on now. Turn to your neighbor and just say, there's power in your words. Speak, declare favor. Declare the favor of God over your life. 
even when you don't see favor, even when you don't feel it. Hallelujah. Declare it and speak it into the atmosphere. Tire. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Lift your hands up and just say hallelujah. Come on. Lift your hands up and just worship him. Just worship him. Lord, we love you. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we magnify you. In this season, people of God, we will declare favor. You that have lost your jobs, you that wondering, well, pastor, I have a little money. I don't know how I'm going to make it to the end of the year. We're going to declare favor today. Because what's going to happen to you today is that as you activate and embrace the favor of God, you're going to see resources come from everywhere. You're going to have a testimony. And I want to hear about it. I want you to come back and tell me how God opened doors for you. How God made a way out of nowhere. How God gave you even a job in the midst of this famine. I want you to come back and report. Because what's going to happen is you, have, you will have what you say. You cannot, hallelujah, cannot receive something different than what you said. In other words, you spoke victory. You spoke favor. You declare another job. You declare increase. You declare miracles. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. And then most of all, to embrace the favor of God, stay humble. Mm. Because the Bible tells us in James 4 and 6, for God resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. God's unmerited favor. He pours out the favor, his favor upon a humble heart. And one thing we got to guard against is pride. Because pride was shut down the flow of God's favor. My God. Because you know what it is. You know how it is. When you lift it up, you can't even hear God. And, and if you can't hear God, how can you get instructions? And you know, with the favor of God on your life, and even in this season, as we walk in the favor of God, we need instructions. We need the direction of God. We need uh, the leading of God. But if you lift it up in pride, can you hear God? Hallelujah. So we, we don't want pride to be in our lives because pride has shut down the favor of God. But just remember that when you're humble before God, God will endow and he will pour out the blessings upon your life and his favor over your life. Now I want every one of you that's listening to me right now, I want you to get ready for another level of favor. Not only are you going to embrace and walk in it, and you that already been walking in favor, look out for the next level of favor. But you that say, well, pastor, as of today, I'm going to embrace this favor of God. In other words, I'm not leaving it on the shelf anymore. I'm going to, I'm going to embrace it and, say, and speak it daily over my life before any project I start, before anything, any assignment I, you know, I start. I'm going to embrace and invite the favor of God. Say, Lord, I thank you for your favor. Well, I'm here to tell you that as you do that, God is going to increase your favor. And remember, it comes in stages. So as you start step one, hallelujah, glory be to God. God is going to prepare you for step two. But watch this. Don't get discouraged by the trials and tribulation. Trials will come. Tribulation is going to come to test your faith in God. But just know that even in the midst of your tribulation, favor is still going to be there. Hallelujah. Favor will be there. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Lift your hands up and say favor. Hallelujah. No matter what it looks like, don't get discouraged and don't stop declaring favor. That's part of your narrative. That's part of your story. And if you believe it, receive it, you're going to find yourself declaring victories, and then you're going to find yourself receiving the victories. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory. 
Glory. Come on, I need somebody to lift your hands up. Come on, lift your hands up and say, Lord, I thank you for your favor. Come on, lift your hands and say, Lord, I thank you for your favor. Hallelujah. Lord, you have placed favor over my life where you're going to give me the right connection. You're going to connect me to the right people. That's what happened to Joseph. God, you're going to give me the right connection. But in order for him to get to the connection, he had to go through something. I'm telling you, don't get discouraged by your tribulation or trials because it's only, come on now, it's only preparing us for our next. Our next level and degree or stage of favor. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Come on, lift your hands up and say hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so as we close, I just want to say to you, hallelujah, that the favor of God is here for us, but we must embrace it. Hallelujah. We must declare it. We must believe it, receive it. Come on now. And we must grow in our knowledge in the knowledge of our Lord. Hallelujah. Stay in the word. Stay reading. Stay praying. And watch God do the work. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Come on, lift your hands up and give him worship. Come on, lift your hands and give him worship. Hallelujah. And if there's one today that don't know who Jesus is, you may say, well, pastor, I don't know who the Lord is. I want you to repeat after me. Lord Jesus I give my life to you. I recognize, Lord, that you love me. You care about me. You died on the cross for me. You were resurrected just for me. And God, I believe you that you're able to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. And so I receive you today as my savior. I thank you, Lord, for saving me. And God, I embrace your favor over my life. In Jesus' name, everyone say amen. Now, you may have a prayer request. As we, we do the final prayer, hallelujah. You may say, well, pastor, just pray for my strength. Pray for that I'll be able to get rid of the distractions and focus on what God is saying to me in this hour and in this season. Because let me tell you, God is talking to us. God is, is speaking a word to us. And sometimes uh, the distractions of the world can get in the way. And we all have those moments where we are distracted. But I speak a word of, dis oh my Lord, I speak a word of relief right now. I speak a word of focus. Focus. That you'll be able to focus like never before in the name of Jesus. I also speak to the spirit of heaviness. Some of you have been discouraged and been going through this week. Not just this week, but weeks prior. Hallelujah. And you feel like you, don't, you hear about this favor, but you say, I can't connect. But I pray for that spirit. I speak to the spirit of heaviness, Eva Basha, in the name of Jesus. Satan, you got to go in the name of Jesus. The Lord come to lift up the spirit of heaviness right now, people of God. In the name of Jesus. So if you have a prayer request, if you have a prayer request before I do the final prayer, amen, I should write it in the comments. Hallelujah. So we can touch and agree. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, amen, amen. Hallelujah. As we pray the prayer, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. We glorify you, God. God, we thank you, oh God, for who you are and what you've done, God. We thank you, Lord, for how you've come into the, our space right now and how you've touched our hearts and you touched our minds. Lord, we thank you for the word that you share with us on today. Help us to know, God, it's your favor that is upon our lives. Help us, Lord, that we will not just, oh God, just look at it, oh God, and just speak of it. But God, we will embrace it and walk in it in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you 
We thank you, oh God, hallelujah, for working in our lives. Lord, we thank you, God, for lifting the heavy burdens right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lamb of God, oh, Lamb of God. Oh, God, we pray, God, we pray for our sister Lorraine even now, God. We pray, God, that you give us strength on this morning, Lord. Oh, God, you know what she's in need of, God. And, God, we know you're able to answer prayer. God, we ask you, oh, God, glory to work, oh, God, to look upon, oh, God, higher, hallelujah, to look upon Shalanda, God, strengthen her even now, God. Lord, embrace the Lord. God, we pray for the Cole family. God, we pray for Sister Cole right now, God. We pray for her strength today, God. We pray, God, for her determination. We pray for Brother Cole even now, Lord. We thank you for the favor of God being upon their lives. Oh, God, we thank you, God, for Sister Abigail. Oh, God, we speak, oh, God, victory right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you for bringing her focus in we thank you for guidance on today. For God, you said in all of our ways, oh God, to acknowledge you and you shall direct our path. We thank you for directing her, God. We thank you, oh God. Thank you for sharing, oh God. Thank you, oh God, for removing all distractions. In the name of Jesus, God, we declare favor over her life. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for the favor that's already there. But God, we thank you for another level of favor. We thank you, oh God, for your uncommon favor. We thank you, oh God, for Sister Renee, God. We speak to that brokenness. God, you come to heal. God, you come to, oh God, to heal. You come to bring us back together. You come to renew our strength. You come, oh God. Oh God. And we thank you for renewing our strength. We thank you. Glory. We thank you, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. We pray, God. We pray for Minister Latoya. We thank you, oh, God. She lift up a prayer for Como, God. Hallelujah. To be healed from asthma. God, we speak to it. We speak to that asthma by your stripes. God, you said in your word, for you were wounded for our transgressions. Bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon you. And by your stripes. We are healed. Healing in the name of Jesus. Strength in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the Rodriguez family. Strength in the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Keep them focused, God. Oh, God, keep them strong. We thank you for strength, my brother Kenneth. We thank you for strength even now, God. Oh, heal the body. Oh, of every affliction. Heal today, God. In the name of Jesus, thank you, oh God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for Mother Sylvia. We thank you for Mother Ferguson. Lift up prayer for her sister. Oh God, heal her body. Oh God, touch her. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you for Sister Palmer. God, we glorify you. We speak a word over our family. Even now, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you, oh God. We thank you for the healing of Suzette Francis. We thank you, oh God, of Sister Suzette, God. Oh, Eva Basha. Yes, Lord, healing of a father. Oh, Eva Basha. We thank you for Pastor Connor Wilson. Oh, yes, sir. A servant of you, God. A one that loves you. A one that's dedicated. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord, as she, God, prepare for a clinical license. Oh, God, we know that you're able, and we thank you for clarity, and we thank you for understanding. We thank you for bringing it all back to our remembrance. We thank you. Oh, God, I, a woman of God, be encouraged. Oh, God, we pray for Sister Beverly we pray for healing over her body. Oh, Jesus. We pray for the Bradwell family. We pray for the Clark family. Oh, God, we thank you for healing. Come on, say, as you see the prayer requested, come on, pray through. Oh, healing, Jesus. Breakthrough. Oh, God, I speak breakthrough. Breakthrough right now. Teresa, breakthrough. Oh, God, breakthrough for our sister Michelle. Oh, God, for our sister 
Sister Michelle. Oh, God, breakthrough. Breakthrough for Mother Bess. Thank you for Rolanda Powell. Focus. Help us today. Help her today with a focus. Give her the strength, oh, God. Thank you for the healing. Healing, Jesus. We thank you for every promotion. Somebody praying for promotion. Tamia is praying for promotion. Thank you for promoting her on her job. In the name of Jesus, we pray. We pray for Rania. We pray for the love. We pray for peace in his life. We pray for healing. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. We thank you for Dolores. We thank you for strength. Oh, God, we thank you for a greater level of favor over God's life. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you for Mother Braswell. Miska, hiya, help her to be focused. Oh, God, she prayed for all her grandchildren. In the name of Jesus. Hey, Ibabasha, glory. We thank you for Kayla. Kayla Drumgold. Oh, yes, Lord. We thank you for her strength. We thank you for her knowing you. We thank you for her walking in protection. We thank you, oh God, for her walking in favor. Oh, Jesus. Look on Sylvia. Hey, Ibabasha. We thank you for blessing. I am Ibabasha. Oh, God, look on Floria. Oh, forgiveness, uh, healing, uh, healing of the body, uh, healing of the mind. Uh, oh, God, uh, be encouraged, woman of God. Uh, yes, Lord, Ebony. Uh, God, we thank you for Audrey. Uh, God, we thank you for healing. Uh, God, we thank you. Uh, God, we thank you uh, for healing the body. Uh, oh, yes, Lord, uh, healing for Mother Bess. Uh, healing for Dr. Joyner. Hey, Ibabasha. Thank you for leading her. Thank you for guiding Dr. Joyner. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. God, we know you're able. God, we know you're able. God, we know you're able. In the name of Jesus. The Thomas family. Mm. Hey, Shah. We pray for Tisa. Hiya, Ibaba Shah. We pray for Minister Tisa. We thank you for breakthrough. Come on, I need somebody to say breakthrough. Come on, write on the comments and say breakthrough. Oh, Lamb of God. We pray believing. We pray, oh God, trusting you. Breakthrough. For oh God, for Valerie. Breakthrough. For Valerie today. Breakthrough. For Mother Ferguson. Breakthrough. For Sister Candy. Breakthrough. For Lanessa Joyner. Breakthrough. We say breakthrough. Come on, somebody say breakthrough. Come on, breakthrough. Breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Oh, come on, lift your hands up and say breakthrough. Breakthrough. We thank you for the breakthrough. We thank you for the miracles. We thank you for the overflow. We thank you for your favor. Hey, we pray for our country. We pray for our government. We pray for our president. Breakthrough. Hallelujah. Breakthrough. 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 Oh, God, look at my brother Johnny. Oh, God, breakthrough. Johnny Lumpkin, oh, God. Touch his body, oh, God. Keep him strengthened, oh, God. Touch his mind, oh, God. Oh, we praise you. Oh, we praise you. I just want to stop one moment before I close. And I want to speak a word. Breakthrough. Hallelujah. I need you to write it down. Hallelujah. Whether you put it in your phone, whether you put it on paper. Hallelujah. And I want you to look at it every day this week for the next seven days and just declare breakthrough. I need you to declare breakthrough. 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 And God is going to begin to break through in the uh, areas that you need God to break through. Hallelujah. God, we thank you. We glory glorify you for every prayer request and we thank you for what you're about to do and what you've already done in Jesus name amen be encouraged be encouraged be encouraged breakthrough breakthrough when it gets rough and even when it gets hard keep saying breakthrough because he is the God of the breakthrough <laughs> Uh, hallelujah. He is. He is. Hallelujah. Keep me in your prayers. And I thank God for some of you that put in the comments to pray for me and my family and my husband. Keep us in your prayers. We love you. God bless you. 
See you next week. God bless.